Robert Kelly Slater is no doubt the greatest professional surfer of all time. He's been crowned World Surf Champion 11 times over and boasts a 56 championship tour victories. Outside his accomplishments on the waves, he's also an author, musician, environmentalist, humanitarian, and has appeared in over 37 movies and documentaries throughout his long career. Most curious of all, he's also the proud founder of the Kelly Slater Wave Company, a company that succeeded in creating the perfect man-made wave. As with most larger-than-life figures, all of his achievements would not be possible without the most important people in his life, his family. Taylor Slater is Kelly's only daughter and dearest family member to his heart. Born in 1996 to his then-girlfriend Tamara Mitchell, Taylor grew up with her mother away from the public eye, while her father toured the world gathering championships. She spent most of her youth in Florida and completed her high school at Calvary Christian Academy. After graduating, she spent a year in the Moody Bible Institute studying pre-counseling before she went on to King's College to study business management. However, her time at university was short. She dropped out after rediscovering her childhood love for art and graphic design and decided to pursue a career in the art industry. After picking up resin painting in 2017, she was hired to make paintings for the Scholastic Surfing Association End of the Year trophies. Since then, Taylor hasn't stopped. She held her first art show in Montauk, New York and partnered with Lonely Whale, a charity organization devoted to keeping plastic waste out of the ocean. Taylor is passionate about nature, the beach, and the ocean, and that's where she draws inspiration for her work. Since her debut, she's been featured in other art shows and started her art gallery called 808 Studios in South Florida. There, you can see and support her art. Taylor is married to her lover and best friend, Sam Kelleher. Kelly Slater regrets not being more present in Taylor's early life. In an interview with Graham Bessinger, the former surfing champion stated that his inability to be a full-time father to his daughter made him feel like his daughter didn't have a father. Thankfully, his absence did not ruin Taylor and Kelly's relationship. Taylor and Kelly have been frequently seen in public together and have shared intimate photos and moments on social media. Another person who populates his social media as much as his daughter does is Kalani Miller. Kalani Miller is a 36-year-old ex-model, businesswoman, and long-term girlfriend of Kelly Slater. Miller and Slater have been inseparable since they met at a trade show in San Diego over 16 years ago and bonded over their shared love of the sport. Kalani and Kelly have been dating for so long that Kalani achieved international fame based on her association with the world champion alone. But that's not to say she's not well recognized for her pursuits. Growing up in San Clemente, California, Kalani comes from a family of surfers and designers who encouraged her to express her creativity. She spent her youth painting and surfing before she moved on to modeling as a teenager. It was a career choice that took her and her sister all over the world. Kalani eventually earned her bachelor's in communications at the University of California, Santa Barbara. During her time as a model, she worked with popular models, surfers, and celebrities, including Nadia Fairfax and Malia Manuel. In 2009, Kalani channeled her accumulated business and design experience into a swimwear company she co-owned with her sister Olima called Miko. The name is inspired by her last name, Miller, as well as her name, her sister Olima, and their youngest sister, Hana. Over the decades that Miko has been around, the brand has established itself as a pioneer of the laid-back beach town contemporary aesthetic, pulling an effortlessly cool and bold look. Miko also supports breast cancer survivors with their Bold Strength collection that launched in February 2023. According to the brand, it's a four-piece capsule collection devoted to helping women who have undergone changes due to breast cancer. All proceeds from the sales went towards the organization Keep a Breast Foundation. Kelly Slater expressed his support online for the movement on his Instagram. Slater and Kalani also hold nothing back on social media, sharing pictures of their vacation, surfing, and other intimate moments. When asked about marriage, both parties have hinted that it's coming sometime in the near future, but seem to be in no hurry to tie the knot. Kalani has said that Kelly is very devoted to surfing. It comes second to most things in his life. She's not sure how he'll make the transition to being a full-time father or husband. For now, Kalani supports Slater, driving him to be better with each new event and opportunity. While Kalani has remained a cornerstone throughout his career, another woman helped start it.
Before Kelly Slater was 11 times world surfing champion, he was a young boy with an unmatched competitive spirit and talent on the board. As early as 10 years old, Kelly and his brothers traveled across the state to compete in surfing competitions and tournaments, and Judy Slater Lane sacrificed everything to make that happen. Wed to the late Steven Slater, Judy was blessed with three children, Kelly, Sean, and Steven. Her late husband ran a bait store and took to the bottle a little too hard, leaving Judy to fend for her three boys by herself. She had to work as a maid, bartender, EMT, and even sold family heirlooms to help the boys chase their dreams. According to Kelly, she brought home an average of $2,000 a month. They weren't quite poor, but they weren't rich either. When Kelly needed to travel to California and England to compete in age division amateur championship and world championship, she had to rely on her network of friends, family, and well-wishers to watch over her boys. Kelly was a phenom on the board, and it was worth it to see him go that far to do extraordinary things. Even from a young age, she'd seen Kelly take to the board with an uncanny seriousness, practicing until he eventually conquered the sport. For her, the sacrifices were all worth it. Today, Kelly is closer to his mother than ever. In an interview with Ben Singer, he spoke about how much of an impact his mother's advice had on him when coming to terms with his anger towards his late father. He was 23 and confused, searching for answers most young men got from their fathers. And Judy told Kelly his father probably couldn't explain why he acted the way he did or did the things he did. Judy told Kelly that he was better off looking for answers himself. Her words, in some ways, softened the blow of his father's passing. Steven Slater died at 62, after battling cancer for several years. If you check Kelly's social media, you'll find pictures of him and his mother at social events and the beach. Kelly Slater has a love-hate relationship with his father, Steven. Steven was a proud owner of a bait and tackle shop in California and remained in his son's lives for a long while until his casual alcoholism created an irreparable rift between him and Judy. In an interview with Graham Bessinger, Kelly said he remembered screaming, lots and lots of screaming. Judy and Steven fought often, and their arguments sometimes lasted so long that it derailed entire evenings. Steven was never violent, however. According to Kelly, he had a gentle soul. Everybody who met him liked him, and he told the greatest stories. He also never drank heavy liquor. He just always had a beer in his hand, and the alcohol just added up over time. Later in his life, Stephen was diagnosed with cancer, and he fought it bravely with the support of his family. Kelly said his father talked a lot about the new protocols he was trying to improve his quality of life towards the end, and that motivated Kelly to take his health very seriously. Kelly believes health is an investment that has a 2,000% return. This philosophy has served him well in his professional career. Kelly is still proudly holding the record of the oldest person to win the Association of Surfing Championship. Kelly's 51 years old and plans to compete until he's 90 years old. Steven Slater passed away in 2002. Sean and Steven Slater led far less glamorous lives compared to their brother, but they're each filled with passion and love for the ocean. Stephen Skipper Slater had a career in construction, loves fishing and surfing, and has a son named Van that he absolutely adores. On occasion, he vacations with extended family. Captain Sean Slater is a cruise boat captain, entrepreneur, and a big fan of surfing and bulldogs. While he's not on the water or fishing, he's spending time with his wife April, vacationing, or posting cute videos of his dogs. From his humble beginnings dominating professional surfing for over three decades, Kelly Slater's rise to the top is more inspiring than most, and his family's been with him every step of the way. 